My name is Alexander Yeskin. I've been a 3D designer for more than 10 years. And today we're gonna do this dropper using Houdini, Vellum and Octane. Let's start with the Geo node. Call it dropper source. Dive in and we should now fix the grid. So the default grid spacing is too big for us and we'll fix it, change it from 0 0.2 to 0 0.01. Then draw some curve with curve polygon soft. With the grid snapping turned on. Couple more points here. We need the extra points for subdivision later on. And I already forgot to add more points here. We can fix it by deleting this part. Moving this a bit higher. And drawing something like this. Add a revolve node and a subdivide node. <laughs> Looks kind of goofy. Needs more elegance to the shape. So that's it for the glass part of the dropper. Call it out top glass. Copy this part. Now we should make the liquid part. Base the liquid. Select this as the reference, this as the main, and kill the outer surface. I don't need this to move it a bit higher. Perhaps we should add another point. Point is clearly not fused, so add a fuse. Okay. For the interior liquid, we need to make some fake surface tension, so we need more points at the bottom and more points at the top. Uh, Something like this. Couple more here. Maybe to serve. Mm 
that will do. Mm, let's say for the top part. Boring part of the video. Just moving points around. It was like... Okay, good enough. I would like to fix this thing. I don't like how it's subdivised into trees uh, instead of quads. It's a nitpicky thing, but I just... Eh, hate it. Dissolve. Select these every other edge here. And every other edge at the bottom part. Press enter. Ta da! Neat quads. And oh, don't forget the reverse thing. Shape. Now, we can just create a camera and check out how it looks. Camera? Lol. Close the camera a bit away. It's a correct aspect ratio. Probably focal length should be about 100. Select it. Okay. Probably can move camera a bit higher. Three. And create the render nodes. Draw per glass. And draw per lit. Get inside, object merge from the source shape, drop a glass, and we can do this for now, but I'm definitely sure that I'm going to forget about the thing that we chose the wrong one, but okay, probably should be a bit farther away. Um, I would also tilt the camera rather than dropper, so it would be easier to set it, set things up inside of the source shape like this. And the light setup is usually easier to set up if it's all straight. Cold shot, zero point ten. Still looks a bit fat. A bit less fat. Okay. Let's move the top part accordingly to the angle of the camera. Choose soft transform. And select some points like this one. And move it down a bit. Reduce the radius. See how it looks on the viewport. Mm, okay, call it top 0.1. Select different point, maybe on the other side, and move it a bit higher. Mm, probably should select different point this one and this one accordingly all of them fair bit less not bad
0.6. What about increasing the radius? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna figure it out uh, on render. Maybe we should move it a bit around more. And have a soft transform for the bottom part. Select some point short from uh, this one. Blow it up a bit and reduce the radius. Okay. Mm, maybe a different point. This one. Yeah, see, I'm gonna see through the glass, then through the liquid. There's gonna be a reflection. It's gonna be nice. We need these things. I don't like this thing, this curve. Just look too promising. Maybe, maybe. Okay, let's do it at this. <laughs> let's create a temporary out. So I'm not gonna mess things up at the end. Out, dropper, liquid. And use it here. Because later on I'm just gonna merge the bubbles and this liquid together. Also, we can check out how the shapes intersect. Uh, right now, there's the intersection of this. Now, I'm uh, gonna use the grid to check intersections. Two by two, and orientation x y. So this is our intersecting points from this shape that's intersecting this grid. I'm gonna change the output to intersection segments. Now we can see how this shape is represented. And we can check this shape with this shape. Okay, so right now it's too perfect. We need to increase this radius a bit. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We can just use in this particular case, we can just use the transform node and just increase the scale a little bit like this. So now what we have is an intersection. To make it more visible. So the red liquid intersects the bottle. And that's good. We need it for proper shading. Otherwise, we're going to be seeing some Z fighting. Okay, let's leave it at this. <laughs> 